Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka the OG Bojangles. I'm a streamer over on Twitch four days a week, but on Tuesdays and Fridays I post first time movie reaction videos, and that's what this is. For this video, I'm doing a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Kathy Ice. And she would like me to watch the movie Fallen. Just like in each and every single one of my videos, I have no idea what I'm about to watch, but I am excited. Same thing goes here. I have no idea what this movie is about, and I've actually never even heard of it. So I guess with that said, let's get started. If you're here watching this right now, thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching. And for those of you over on Patreon, I appreciate you guys as well. Thank you so much for being over there. Thank you for the support, and I hope you're enjoying all those full unedited reaction videos. If you wanted to watch the full unedited version of this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. And of course, thank you so much to Kathy for subscribing at the tier on Patreon and giving me this movie as your request. Alrighty, let's get started here. Pretty excited as per usual to start a movie and sharing my reaction with you guys. So let's go on ahead. I hope that you guys like this reaction and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. Ooh. I want to tell you about the time I almost died. Oh, good. Right into it. Damn, okay. Hello? How did I get into this fix? How did it all begin? No, no, no. If I go back to the beginning, that'll take forever. So let's start <laughs> more recently. It's the brilliant detective who sealed my brutish fate. That's right. So what is this? They're making you famous now or what? Oh, big time. Yeah, why are they recording him? What? Oh, Jesus. Okay. He's still a good fellow. Mm, Okie dokie. Open the gate. Do you like riddles? No, I don't. Why is there a space between lions and Spikowski? What? Come on, you should know this one, pal. Open the gate. Hello? Remember this, Todd? Oh, boy. What goes around really goes around. Well, that's ominous. Very ominous. All of that. That whole exchange. Great. Ladies, gents, cocksuckers, terrorists. I hope you all enjoy the show. Yes, I do. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. I'll give you a blow job if you get me out of this, baby. Oh. Uh-oh. Goodbye. Baby! Come on! Go ahead! Light up my life! Oh, it's like a gas chamber. I... Wow. Fuck. I really thought it was gonna be like some sort of electric chair or something, but oh. No, it was not. Uh, Weird, 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 weird. What is... What is going on with this? What is that? Like his soul or something. Uh... Now it's not their fault. Well, this is the consequence hey, of what hey, I do. Something Mr. weird's Mr. a brewing. Oh boy. The whole thing with the camera above and the ceiling, ah, ah that, uh, that was a little weird. Uh, it feels like uh, the soul had like left his body and... Oh, this is weird. Wait. Ooh, it looks like he's like ho a body hopping, right? Trying to find a new host. Damn it, Charles, what took you so long? You know Came what you'd look like with this sandwich up your ass? Fat, stupid fuck with a sandwich up his ass. Charles, I hate to yeah, do yeah, this, yeah. but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the job where the sandwich goes. Hello? Great. Not ominous at all. Bye. Be good here. Have a good day at school. Okay. Bye. You ever think it would be easier? Your life would be easier or something no, if maybe no, me no, and Sam no, were not. No, 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 no. Mm. Maybe Marcy wouldn't have left. Marcy, okay? She loved me, she would have never left me anyway. Besides, family's always first. You're my brother, right? Brother and his son are living with him. Wife left him. Okay, We're getting some backstory. Then we got this. Which, oh boy. Um, hello? Um, 
A cop knows. A cop sees. Okay. All right. Cool. Detective Hobbs. Hey, pal, you got a pen? What? Four five four one South Center, apartment two. Who's there? A clue, Magoo. Clue, Magoo. Got a body? Nah, it's probably just some knucklehead saw me on TV trying to impress this girl. By the way, last. Oh, I don't know about that. They're gonna find a body. They're probably gonna find a lot of bodies in this movie. I got puncture wounds for a syringe or something. 18. Oh. What is Very tidy. Killer slept over and then uh, had a nice neat breakfast. Yeah, right? What? What is this? It's a riddle. Reese in his cell before he died. He asked me why is there a space between lines and scouts. Oh no. Yeah. You like uh, riddles, you know, uh, puzzles and shit, brain teasers? <laughs> sure, as long as I'm doing the teasing. Why is there space between Lyons and Spakowski? Well, yeah, Spakowski, my rookie year, South Precinct. That's a fucking asshole. This guy's eating a it's whole a chicken leg. His name's up on a wall. You must pass it by a thousand times. Yeah, I guess I just need to open my eyes and look around sometime. Lou, who was 65? Huh? Who was in that space right there? You got me, bud. I don't know. So you're saying they took a name off? Oh, the space between the two. Wow. Records. They say they don't know who it was. They don't know why it's not there. Crazy. Oh, better find it. Oh, Milano. Gun accident. Oh, no. Robert Milano. That's right. Can't help you. Can't help you. Uh, what? Whatever you find out, keep it to yourself. I'm sorry. That's weird. Care to elaborate, yeah, Lieutenant? Somebody died because you kept your mouth shut. You're the one holding the bag, not me. It's not me keeping his mouth shut. That clear enough for you? Yeah, mm. yeah. Sorry. Make sure Hobbs gets a copy of this. Watching Johnny Boy? Hope you're paying close attention. I wonder why he was getting recorded in the first place, though? I don't, I don't know why. The um, language he was speaking, that's Dutch? Definitely not Dutch. It was, sounded like, I don't even know. Definitely not Dutch, though. As Detective John Hobbs, I'm looking for Miss Greta Milano. I wanted to talk to you about your father. It's uh, 30 years later, and the files are sealed. And my boss was told to uh, let it alone, so here I am. Yep. <laughs> See, I'm the detective who uh, caught Edgar Reese. In a roundabout way, he gave me your father's name. Mm-hmm. Did Reese like to sing? Yeah, he did, actually. And at the execution, did he try and touch you or grab you? Yeah, he did. He shook my hand. Uh, oh, no. She knows something. She knows something. He caught a killer. The copycat crime started. Evidence mounted up against him. My father saw the evidence against him. Told my mother he didn't stand a chance to beat it. So he went to this cabin in the mountains. He went there and... Are you afraid that if you tell me your life may be in danger or something like that? That's it? Yes. I don't think that's it. <laughs> it's probably super complicated. Okay. So... It already seems like it's super complicated, so I don't know. The oh, man God. who passes you on the street or catches your eye, does he know you? Is he a homicidal maniac who hates you on sight? Oh. I don't know. It's like whatever is hopping from body to body. It's like some demon or something and trying to take over whoever to continue just killing people. I don't know. That's uh, very odd. That's, yeah, that's, that's crazy right there. You know, just the simple bump. And he is either now in that body, whatever this thing is, or a piece of him is or something. I don't know. Hello? Like checking to see if he's home, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, this is Charles. A am I working tonight? You quit, Charles. I quit? Oh, but I mean, uh, how... Oh no, is it going to be the guy that the thing inside the person touched? Oh no. Oh no, it's going to be the- Oh! Oh, I fucking knew it. Oh no. No! No! What the hell, right? Damn. 
Well, whatever's inside hopping from body bo to body likes cornflakes. Same thing. Same exact thing. Anything on Muscovich? Only the pizza. Now we're hitting your area of expertise, huh, Jonesy? Look, man, pizza is a staff of life. Without pizza, another fine Italian foods, there would be no happiness, okay? It's very true. One Absolutely. Left, Take it from your friendly neighborhood apple. Italian. <laughs> the linguist guy's here. Yeah, I'll uh, be right there. Who is this convict? Can I speak to him? No, oh, he Not is. Now. Have a seat. Professor dead, says it's dead. a language, all right. He's just never heard it spoken aloud before. Any? Some kind of antique. Oh. I believe this is a biblical tongue. Detective Hopps. Hey, pal. You want to check these out? Another clue? 1339 South Grove. Apartment 9. Oh, my God. Uh, two. Wow. Look in mirror. What? Ooh, this is so... Wow. Going home last night, this guy's walking past me, he's going the other way. It's the same guy that's in the bathtub. I'm under the sink. Yeah, everything he's doing, though, is meticulous, so he probably meant to leave that there, so... Yeah, there's definitely, like, a supernatural kind of thing to this. It's very, very uh, interesting. Nice talking to you. Mm-hmm. See you Monday. Also, he's right, fucking weird. I don't know. I don't trust him. I don't, I don't, I don't trust Mustache Man. We got a positive ID on Charles Olam. Noon's the guy that killed the Ruski. It's his prints all over Muscovich's apartment. Noon's poisons Muscovich, dumps him in the tub, sets out the cornflakes. Three days later, somebody does the exact same thing to him. Exact. Yep. Exact because Noon's and Muscovich were killed by the same person. What, some kind of ringmaster? I think so. I'm just playing with my dick and it ain't me. <laughs> Definitely a saying. <laughs> Ten minutes, Art. Okay. God, you know, I don't need this whatever supernatural being that's hopping from body to body. I don't need it going into him or his brother or his brother's son. Because let's leave those guys alone. But you know what? It's probably going to happen. Because that's just how the cookie crumbles. Oh, he's vi visiting the... Uh... Oh. Visiting the cabin? I don't like this. No, I don't like this. No. There are moments which mark your life. Moments when you realize nothing will ever be the same. And time is divided into two parts. Before this and after this. Oh, God. Wasn't this from the beginning where he was running in the woods? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, oh, boy. Ooh, ooh. Huh. Oh, I'm just... I'm just not liking this, right? Like... What the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. You've got to be kidding me. I knew something like that shit was going to happen, son of a bitch. Oh. Take the books, go upstairs. Fuck this shit. Go. The hell? After that, you're still staying downstairs. No. No. Look. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, hell no. Mm-mm. No way! What? Uh, az Azazel? I thought that was from the beginning. I guess not. Azazel. Azazel. Okay. I went to your family's place up in the mountains. Trees in the water. Absolutely beautiful. What does Azazel mean? <laughs> that was quick and to the point. Now, my dictionary says that it's the uh, evil spirit of the wilderness, whatever that means, huh? And then one of the books your father had up there talks about demons and how they move by touch. I mean, what is that? Walk away, Mr. Hobbs. Say again? If you enjoy your life, if there's even one human being you care about, don't take this case. Wow. I knew it was a goddamn demon. I knew it. Azazel the demon. Great, great. That's good. Phone company sent mugs and loads for Nunes and Muscovich's apartment. Right around the time they were killed. We seen a killer call my house from the scene of the crimes? Sure looks like it. How many times I gotta change my phone number? Oh. The more you change it, the more it looks like someone on the inside. Yeah, like a cop? Yeah. Oh no, he's thinking it's him. Oh my god. If he gets blamed for this shit, oh. Translation from the Aramaic. I can't utter you by touch, but even when I can get inside you after I'm spirit, I won't. I'll fuck you up and down, left and right. That's in the Bible. If that doesn't work, I have other ways. 
Be the translation of the translation. Wow. Great. So good. So very good. Now my question is, why is this demon hunting him? You know? Like, what? Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh my god, yep. Yo, demon, leave me alone! That's what I would say to it. No, I wouldn't. I would just hide forever. Once inside, they know you and remember. Therefore, they speak all the tongues of Babel. Down, left, right, coming, going. The cat? Oh no. New person. And yep. This is so wild. Like, this is so insane. Can I help you? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. He works. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna trust him. Time is on my side. Ah, is on my side. You always saying that you wanna be free. Oh no. Oh no. Driving him crazy already. Where'd you get that? From Milano's place? What? You found something up there. Well, some things, pal. You shouldn't know. And if you know, you should never ever tell. Oh shit! Holy shit! This is so fucked up. No. You're not going crazy. This is what it is. Oh, this poor guy. Is this for real? I mean, do you you you, you believe this stuff? I believe more is hidden than is seen. Well, I believe what I see, and I'm still trying to get my mind around what I just saw, okay? There are certain phenomena which can only be explained if there is a god, and if there are angels, and there are, they exist. Some of these angels were cast down and a few of the fallen were punished by being deprived of form. Fallen. They can only survive in the bodies of others. It's inside of us. Oh, God. So fallen I mean, angels, oh, a.k.a. demons, I guess. So you're saying that Edgar Reese is actually... At the time you knew him, he was not himself. He was Azazel. Yes, Azazel. Wow. So why does he focus in on me? What would you do? got his attention. So he tried to get inside you. Remember, he shook your hand. That didn't work. So now he's going to try and find some other way. Oh, oh, wow. That's why he's getting hunted because the guy, like the demon is just like, well, we do? I mean, touching we usually we works. Well, time to try something else. Oh. A... oh no, go away, demon. Yeah, that's the thing with this. This demon, Azazel, could literally be anyone, anywhere, at any time. One person at a time, yes, but he could be anywhere, anytime. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No! Leave her alone. Leave her alone. No, no, no. Mm, is, this, is it this guy in the suit? Yeah, behind her. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just about to tap you on the shoulder. I'm Jay Reynolds. No, no, no. Uh, Kick him in the nuts. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's like a human chain. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! Oh, my God. Run across the street. Do something. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Jesus, man! You are right now! Oh, hell no! Woo! Fuck that! Fuck that! No, no, no! Oh my god! Where were you? 
were you when Muscovitz and Nunes were killed? Was it the phone records again? I mean, come on, what do they think I did? They think I committed the murders and I called my own house and I ran home and answered my own phone? I mean, no, it's something else. Your prince. My prince? On what? On that fucking little coin of yours. Where? Noon's place. It's a frame of you. I know you know more than you're saying. Oh, my God. But you said Tell not me. to say anything. You remember Robbie Milano? No, wait, listen to me. This is exactly what happened to him. He was framed. Let go of it for a couple hours. Go home. See your family. Take a load off them. You're literally the person you just said, tell me. And you mentioned that guy again, and he just is like, nah, JK, go home. The hell with Stan. Hi, Unc. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Hey, Mr. Hobbs. That's why, I'm, that's why I don't like the lieutenant. That's why I don't like him. He's being just so sketchy with a bunch of different things. Hey, Art. You move my address book. What? Why no. did he? Um, what? Huh? It fell. It fell. Hmm. Uh, what happened? Sammy hit me. What? Oh. It was an accident, though. He didn't. He didn't mean to, though. He, he didn't mean to. Oh. Oh no. Sam, where's Toby? Toby? Hey, Hobbs. You leave my family alone. Why? You come after me, and I'll come after you and your- Holy shit. That's the thing with this. It's just like, you can't even- It doesn't even seem like you can kill the person, and, you know, the demon dies with it. So if he, like, does anything to the kid, it's like... That counted. Yeah, that counted. Oh, shit. <gasps> He's writing on his chest. Oh my god, oh my god. This is gonna be so bad. Oh shit! Because if he kills him, that means the the number in his chest. Oh no! Put the gun down. He just fucked himself. I know he was gonna get shot, but like he he. Oh no. It, it's going from body to body. It doesn't matter about the, if the body dies. It just he's an entity. It's just gonna float somewhere else. Oh no! Motherfucker. Yes, it is. Wake up, Hobbs. I'm not that easy to kill. Holy when shit! When my host dies and I move a spirit, no man can resist me. Wow. Why'd you just kill me, huh? But I'm still having fun. What a little shit. Oh my god. No. Yeah, so basically you kinda killed an innocent man, but you kinda didn't it's very it's a very blurred line. Unfortunately, he is dead. That number I saw him write the number on his chest, and that's not good because he killed him. And that does that's not gonna do good for him. Like, no, 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 no. School teacher, huh? What am I gonna do? You have you know, witnesses. The first witness is cooperating. His gun was filled with blanks, okay? And he got the gun out of a stolen car. How about that one? A setup, Lieutenant. A setup? That's right, a setup. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, no. This time, you are the killer. Oh, this is not looking good for him. It really isn't. Even though, didn't, how could he have known that the gun was filled with blanks? I want the world to make sense. The only way I can get the world to make sense for me is to arrest you, and I'll have to do it. Are you kidding me? Hello. John? Yeah. All right, look, let me, uh, I'll call you back. I'll call you later. How's the killer? And yeah, we're gonna arrange things later. <laughs> <laughs> what do they want, Claire? The demons? They want the fall of civilization, the fall of Babylon, as they put it. I was looking through one of your father's books, and it says, um, outside, I guess that means outside the body, outside, they can survive for one breath only. There's a Hebrew text that says the breath can carry them for 500 cubits. A cubit, that's like a distance or something, right? Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, to your fingertips, so 500 cubits would be, what, about a sixth of a mile. Oh, huh. okay. Oh man, this is uh 
this is gonna be quite the crazy ending. I feel it, you know? No. Uh. Uh. You were asleep last night when I tucked you in, weren't you? I don't know. All I remember was somebody tickling me, tickling my chest. Oh no, no, no. This is not good. This isn't good. Art? Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead. <gasps> oh god. Oh no. No, not his brother. What the fuck? Hello. Hey, you seen the news? It wasn't. The cop was shooting first, and he kept on <gasps> shooting. Oh my yeah. god, oh my god, our oh my god. It's gonna bring it down from our conversation. Holy Luke? shit. No. You get him yet? No, huh? Not yet. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh god, this is so bad. This is so bad. What? Just do what I tell you, please. What's going on here? We're just gonna play a little trick on somebody. Cool. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bad. Holy shit. Oh, this asshole. No. This is so intense this is oh man this last like bit of the movie is gonna be run and gun holy shit oh no be a uh, pack of cigarettes sure no special kind no any kind detective hops detective hops hold up i want to talk oh shit this is just getting worse and worse, but it's literally just like, what, you know, what else is he gonna do, right? The police think that uh, I did some bad things. Well, why do they think you did that? Because oh, cause somebody uh, made it look like I did. I want to talk to you about something else, too. About your dad. He's not asleep, is he? Damn. No, son, he's not asleep. Do you think he's gonna go to heaven? Yes. I think so, too. That's so sad. He was so kind and innocent and oh that poor guy azazel wrote on his chest unless i do something he's i'm gonna get you a coffee at least he has someone right at least he's not completely alone in terms of just this insanity i think i got my mind around this thing now but let me let me run this by you okay after the host body dies the demon can survive for one breath so a 500 cubits right, right. At the same time, as Hazel says to me, when he moves that spirit, no man can resist. What does that mean? Somebody that he can't get into by touch, he can still get into by spirit. Because if when he's in spirit form, he's fighting for his life, he's going to be that much more powerful. Whatever I do, I have to make sure that you and Sam are safe. You take him somewhere nobody knows about, even me. You're going to stay with Greta for a little while. I'm gonna go back to sleep. When I wake up, everything's gonna be just the way it was. Oh, this poor kid too, you know? Just lost his dad. Doesn't know what's really going on. What you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? Take a long drive where nobody will find me. And uh, sit by the water and think. <laughs> yeah, and he knows that those other officers are on the line, of course, you know? So he's not gonna say anything. Oh god, okay, now this is the part that was in the beginning. <laughs> well, there shouldn't be another person in the outside of a sixth of a mile, I guess, so... It's just him and me now. Hobbs versus Azazel. I thought I had him, but he thought he had me too. Here we go. Oh 
I'm wondering if they're gonna like mutually die or something. I don't know if he's gonna get out of this. All right, whose body are you in now? I know you Made me kill an innocent man. You murdered my brother. Come on out, you son of a bitch. What are you talking about? I didn't do any of that. Now drop your gun, Hobbs. Do what he says, Hobbs. Oh shit. So who who else is out here, huh? Lou, Tim, come on out. No, it's just the two of us. The gun, Hobbs. Oh shit. This is not gonna be good. Put the goddamn gun down. Nope, 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 nope. I'm sorry, Stan. Oh, yeah. Been on the force so many years, you think you've seen it all, but you haven't. <laughs> this life always gives you one more surprise. One more. Sometimes it's a big one. Miss Hazel. Holy shit. Jonesy's fucked. You're fucked. One at a time, huh? Ah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, how do you want to do this, huh? I die, you die. What's maximum fun, huh? Can you guess? Probably both die, I guess, huh? Maximum fun is I become you. Oh, shit. That's the only thing that I see here is that he kills him and himself. Oh, you got me, Hobbs. You got me good. But I gotta ask you something. You wouldn't let me kill myself. Why is there? Because I need more time. If I run a cue, it's that's a long way, as Hazel. Jonesy dies too fast. As powerful as you are, I might never get away from you. Oh, he's catching on. Oh, shit. Why do you think Milano came all the way out here? I think that he wanted to do what I'm gonna do. What is this? You don't smoke anymore? Bullshit. Same poison that you used to kill my brother. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Wow. You're so sweet. What a way to go. We die together. Time is on my side. Oh. Holy shit. Shooting his best friend and partner right in the noggin. Oh, man. Oh, so that's what this was. So, like I said at the start, I was beaten, outsmarted, poisoned, by Detective John Hobbs. Can you imagine what it feels like to be alive for thousands of years and realize you're actually going to die because some self-righteous cop decided he was going to save the fucking world? <laughs> I mean, essentially, yes, yeah. Hobbs figured out how to beat me at my own game. So what? The war isn't over, I promise you. Where the hell is it going now? Oh. You forgot something, didn't you? At the beginning, I said I was going to tell you about the time I almost died. See you around. Oh, my God. I was about to say, right? He went to a cat before, what's gonna stop him from going into any other animal that was around, right? Oh no, well that was pointless then. Damn, three people, three people dead. Wow, well three people right there dead. Damn, mother oh my God. Oh, that's so upsetting. Of course the demon still won. Of course he did. Everything that just happened then just didn't even really matter. Fuck. There was no happy ending. Damn. Of course there wasn't.
course, of course not. Why, why wouldn't there be, huh? Absolutely so freaking unfortunate. Oh my God, of course, just of course, right? This was a really interesting movie and it was seemingly impossible to kill the demon. And it was just so interesting to watch him figure it out and just, you know, do the ultimate sacrifice, right? But it sucks so much because the demon still won in the end, despite making this ultimate sacrifice. This was a pretty wild ride though. I didn't really expect it to take like a sort of supernatural kind of turn in terms of like a full on demon. I mean, right from the beginning, you can kind of see what's happening a bit just from the camera work alone. I mean, the camera work told everything you kind of needed to know and it continued that sort of theme of what it was doing throughout the entire movie. So you know when it was happening, of course. And this demon was a little piece of shit. He was a little bit of an asshole. Very cocky, very confident, and rightfully so because he literally, despite the ultimate sacrifice that uh, Hobbes made at the end, he lives on because he found a way to live on by going through a cat. <laughs> So good try by Hobbs, of course. I mean, again, he really tried his best and super determined. I, I give him a lot of credit for that. And it was one of those situations where if he told literally anybody else, everyone would find him crazy and would not believe him. So unfortunately he was kind of on his own in terms of like, you know, in the, in the, at least in the squad room, right? I mean, he had Greta, which was really good. I mean, I mentioned that in a reaction. The fact that he had her is definitely nice considering he being truly alone in this situation would have been so hard. But even with her there, he was still alone because, you know, everybody that he worked for, which was really important in this case because he worked for the police, no one probably would have believed him at all. I felt so bad for his brother dying. Like that just, that was terrible. I mean, the, the guy was just, he was just caught in the crossfire and that's just, that's just so upsetting because he literally was again, just caught in the crossfire. He didn't deserve it at all. Oh my God. It was just, that was really sad. Really unfortunate that he, uh, had to kill his friend and partner at the end. Not great. I think one of the craziest scenes in this movie was that whole thing with, you know, Greta being outside on the sidewalk out in the, the streets, whatever, with all these people there. And she gets basically trapped by Azazel in whatever body. And then the, he just basically makes a, a, a human chain, a human chain, literally, of just people try to get to her and that was just like so that was that was one of the that was the craziest scene in this film i would say and then the whole thing with the lieutenant i really thought he when he showed up at the end i really thought like there was some like other twist like he was the demon the whole time oh like but no dude that that was not the case but either way he was still kind of weird throughout the whole thing and in some ways i feel like unless i'm just not like fully thinking of it right now in some ways i've there wasn't really like a full on reason as to why he was so weird, specifically about that one detective, AKA, you know, Greta's father. I'm not sure if there was like any sort of like full on reason or if it was just one of those things where, you know, the creators or directors of this, of this film want to throw you off in that way. It might just be that and that's fine. And it did throw me off. So this whole, the whole movie was pretty well done. I, I, I enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Uh, it was kind of a slow burn, but it didn't really, I mean, that that's not bad because it's, it's a rightful buildup. I mean, you kind of have to build up with something like this. You can't really just jump completely into it, but yeah, no, overall, I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting. It got very tense really in the last like 40, 30 minutes or so. Even before that, it was getting tense and it was honestly just freaking bonkers, bonkers insane. I hope each and every one of you enjoyed this reaction to this absolutely bonkers, crazy, tense movie. And if you did enjoy it, please feel free to like the video. And if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that.
And of course, everybody who is over on Patreon already, thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all of that content over there. And thank you so much to Kathy Ice for this request. I really do hope you enjoyed my reaction to it, and again, thank you for that support over on Patreon. If you wanted to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at the OG Bojangles. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff, but I'm mainly on Twitch four days a week, Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. EST. Again, this film was pretty crazy, but it was also pretty unique and interesting, and I really did enjoy it. And again, I hope that each and every single one of you enjoyed this reaction, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Okie dokie, toodaloo, adios, and goodbye. Bye, bye, bye.